Amen. I would want to, by the grace of God, to speak some few things concerning uh, uh, some nations. Uh, and I would want to read the word of God uh, from the book of Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 from verse um, 8. I would want to begin from verse 6. The Bible says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked for, forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our, our God for he will abundantly pardon. Verse 8 is my concentration down there. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Uh, for as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the, and, uh, and, the, and the snow from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, and it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what i please and it shall prosper in the things for which i sent it uh, i said i want to uh, come on board to uh, to speak and to remind you know the world that god does not just speak. Uh, God has given uh, the human race that uh, responsibility of making choices. God can speak something today and you purpose not to adhere to it and you opt to make your own personal choice. Now that does not change God does not change God. When Abraham thought of, uh, you know, they conspired with the wife Sarai and they got a baby, Ishmael, through Hagar, that did not change God, did not change his promise, did not change the status of God in the life of Abraham and Sarah. That is God for you. Now, uh, I, God has been speaking through his prophets. But we have come into a generation that does not honor God. And a generation that I hear in the spirit where I'm seated, a uh, spirit of God saying, a generation of quick fixes. You know, uh, I want this done. So if there is a, a shorter cut, you know, a shorter way of getting it done, that's why you see. Uh, uh, people are running out and skelter for me the course and somebody can even buy anything as long as there is a promise of what I need to happen in my life it will it will happen somebody can even pay for a flight you know to go uh, somewhere to consult some other powers as long as I would drive a nice car I will live in a nice house I will you know get the tangible physical things and I, I've kept asking myself, people no longer go to heaven, you know, they are not bothered about eternity. You know, they just want to enjoy life here. They are not bothered about heaven anymore. Many people, I'm not talking about everybody. You know, that don't care attitude has even entered in the church. Now, let the wicked continue being wicked. And if you are for the righteousness, continue being righteous. Now, we have entered, uh, God spoke to us these things some i think it was last year and he said you know 
what is happening in the world we spoke this is it was human ray it is something that is produced by human beings covid is not uh, an outbreak of anything it is something manufactured by men and they did this with an intention and with an agenda and uh, it, it, it did not hit as they intended or the result they intended, particularly in Africa. And they even confessed and they brought to us so many uh, body bags. It did not hit because God is not like a human being. I remember sometimes back, I saw some meetings in the spirit and I saw men in black and women in, you know, in the skirt suit that were black and you know, they had uh, white tops. And, you know, and, and, you know, they were almost celebrating that, you know, drinking and, you know, holding the wine and they were drinking. And they were making that whatever they, they conspired up against, you know, it, it, is, it is almost bearing fruits. But on to them because where it originated you know the the mastermind of this thing that is the nation in the world that has really been hit by it we don't have to be physically there we are people who work in the spirit now it has backfired against their countries and uh, because the bible says god is not mocked whatever man so it is what they will reap africa has god africa is not a dark continent we have god and now what again uh, god spoke to us as prophets is that we have entered into a season of you know chemicals and the spirit of god said it is going to be business you know many uh, you know people are going to trade with the human bodies through chemicals through chemicals it is going to be business this company this it's going to be competition you know, and that is now what we are seeing. This one comes with this vaccine, another one produces this, another one. Now human bodies are now becoming like guinea, guinea pigs, you know. And now they are going to, 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 to test and some of these governments are going to be bought so that they can enforce the agenda of the devil because now uh, people don't care anymore. They don't fear anymore. They don't fear anymore. Now our bodies are not, there is, I don't need any scripture where the, the, oh my God, and let me surprise you. God is about to hit, because God is about to judge some people. Because uh, he's, the, he's the creator, and he will not allow some few people in the world to try and control the creation of God. He will not allow I know we are, we are headed to the, uh, the cross of the age, but nobody can hijack. There are people who even are running here to skelter. They want to hijack the seasons of God. Nobody can do that. No, God will not allow. A and so we are going to see a lot of chemical operations. A lot of chemical operations. I'm talking about chemical operations. I don't want to go into the details. But some of these things, my call, even in some, uh, you know, some countries wanting to take over some nations, they are going to, to do some things using aircraft and whatever. There is going to be a lot of, a lot of chemical operations. A lot of it. A lot of it. So I'm requesting the church. I'm requesting the church. Be on the side of God. Don't just throw because somebody is forcing this and saying this, don't just throw. Because let me tell you the truth, there are even people who want to control the, the population in the world. They want to, to control, so they want to do whatever it takes, so that as if they are going to live forever. They are going to live forever. They think that they are here in the world forever. I don't know which demon lied to them. So let us, let us be on the lookout i'm addressing the nations you're going to see a lot of we spoke these things we wrote them even on facebook we spoke to the people that we can reach one-on-one -on -one, and we prepared before even time because god speaks and god reveals 
So you have not seen companies come with the, with the, with the chemicals and vaccines and whatever. Now, I, I expected them even to come with the vaccines now, now for something like cancer, something like HIV, whatever. They should be coming with some of these cures because even HIV was manufactured, you know. No, they should uh, be coming with uh, something like cancer that is, uh, you know, that is uh, terrorizing the world. Eh? You know, now they, they you know. So uh, I want uh, everybody working in the Lord to know we are there. There's going to be a lot of chemical operation. So be on the side of God and only take that which the Spirit of God will allow you. That direction the Spirit of God will allow you. Otherwise. You're going to be so defiled. You're going to, you know, to be so defiled. Be very, very careful. Be on alert and be very, very careful. And the Lord is going to grow, be glorified. So I want to prepare, particularly even my nation, uh, my nation, uh, that uh, what God has said concerning Kenya will never change. God does not. But we have just read the word of God from the Isaiah 55. The word of God does not go back to him void. And I have realized now, because of people wanting to hear so many voices and wanting to hear what they want to hear, uh, you even realize now people uh, who are walking in the spirit now, uh, they change their tongue. Yesterday somebody was saying this, but today they are saying this. Now, God does not double speak. I know we are headed to you know, our, our general election. And God spoke to about three giants. We are about to see some something we have never seen ever in the country of Kenya. We are going to see three main giants, political giants. Three main political giants. And when I talk about main, they are going to be main. They are going to be main. And one of the main giants is going to come from the church. Something that has never been before. Number three, I mean number two, I'm preparing the country. I'm preparing the country. We said this many days ago. There's going to be consideration in a quarter that is going to surprise the nation. There's going to be consideration in a quarter. I will not mention any name, but just monitor. There's going to be consideration in a quarter. That is going to be a shocker to so many people in the nation of Kenya. Prepare yourself for three giants, political giants. I'm talking about alliances. I'm talking about three main groups of political alliances. Three main. And one is coming from the church. Something that has never been before. And it's going to be such a shocker to so many people. So... Kenya belongs to God. Kenya is not like any other country. Kenya is a, a nation that God loves. So despite whatever, God, oh my God, some people are going to burn out because they cannot handle the heat of God. Now the people who are used to witchcraft and the powers of darkness, they think it is a business as usual, that season is over. Actually, some of these things, you don't even have to think about them. There's no battle to fight here. It's just now to decree and declare the word of God for the nation of Kenya. Because the Bible is saying, the word of God will not go back to him void. The word of God. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And that is where we are. Every word that God has spoken concerning the nation of Kenya, it will accomplish what God please. And it shall prosper in the things for which God sent it. Hallelujah. So that is it. And that is where we are right now. Now, God has not cleared yet. We have not seen clearance yet. Even in the church, we have not seen yet. God is still going to do it. God will clear anything and everybody who is uh, planning or purposing to be a stubborn block in the season of God. God is going to do that. So we have not seen yet. So we are just preparing us. We have not seen yet. We are going to see. But God has to be glorified because it is time. And God has already taken over the nation of Kenya. So that is it. So a lot of noise, a lot of what? It's not business as usual. It's not business as usual. Only that which is the agenda of God will start in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. So just preparing us and we are just preparing uh, all of us for the eventuality of, you know, what we are about to see. And it will happen. 
because God does not speak a lie. So uh, as we are concentrated on what God wants us to do now, uh, is, uh, because now there's not, we, we, cannot, um, we cannot change the purpose of God. We cannot change the purpose of God. And anything that he has not planted, he will uproot in his season. That is it. And uh, yeah, we have not seen it. We have not seen it. I mean, there's a lot of noise. People thinking now it is uh, the usual business of consulting the witches and the wizards. That time is over. Uh, so God will position uh, whoever. We, uh, we knew, even from 2013, we knew who our next president is. And we are not, um, we are not making any guesses. We are not making any guesses. Uh, prepare yourself for three giants in the nation of Kenya. Prepare yourself. And one of the one of the giants who come from the church. Now prepare yourself, prepare yourself for reconciliation from a quarter that nobody ever expected it will happen. You're going to see it because God does not speak a lie. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless us, may the Lord watch over us. Kenya is in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Kenya is in the hands of God. Yeah, God bless you.